Ibanani aje vipi shwari hii hapa ni East Africa TV ambayo unaitazama leo tuko na Melanin Queen Fina underscore TZ kwenye Instagram unapatikana hivyo na kama unamfuatilia ana ngoma yake inaitwa haya. Uh, Miki tunachopenda kutoka kwake ni title za majina yake. Yako simple sana. Uponyonyo, haya, staki tena, superwoman. Huo unafikiriaga kabla hujaachia uh, kazi na title ambazo unazitoa? Na ni ziko simple sana. Kwangu mimi nanivutia sana. Ah, uh, teamwork. You know, sio tu mimi production team management kabla to release who you know we go through everything na ku decide uh, majina nyimbo na vitu kama hivyo so sound ni vitu kama hivyo so my team i think is very smart on that yeah ongera sana katika hii asante kwa mtu ambaye hajaisikia haya haja ku follow instagram ana taarifa kama fina ameachia kazi yake inaitwa haya unaweza kumpa introduction dogo ngoma haya na husiana na nini inalenga nini hasa Ah uh, ngoma ya haya actually ni ngoma ya mapenzi. Uh, ukisikiliza vizuri tulipanda miti kivuli sasa hivi tayari tuketi jua lisituchome. Kwa kwamba unajua tumepitia mambo mengi, unajua watu wengi katika jamii wanapitia vitu vingi na wapenzi wao, you know the highs and the lows lakini bado wako pamoja. Kwa hiyo yani uh, tugandane tuendelee kupendana, tu enjoy mapenzi yetu sasa hivi sio kila siku tunateseka tu you know. So mimi nafikiri ni nyimbo tu ambayo ina encourage wapenzi kuendelea kuenjoy mapenzi yao wasiachane. Unajua highs and lows zipo lakini you know we keep balling baby. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Uh, na kusikia sana kwenye ngoma zako nyingi unaimba sana kuhusu mapenzi fina. Uh, nataka nikuulize kwamba unatumia muziki kama kufikisha hisia zako labda za kimahusiano sometimes kwa mashabiki. Unatumia ga hivyo? <laughs> hey, sometimes but unajua most of the times inakuwa mimi ni kiocha jamii, mimi ni msanii, ni kiocha jamii. Kwa hiyo naongea mambo ambayo hapo katika jamii pia sunajua. So, so uh, yeah, hivyo kisha kwa mahusiano kaza so unafikisha lakini ujumbe wako wewe ya aliyokuta labda kwenye mahusiano unapita kupitia nyimbo zako yani hisia zako zile za mahusiano unafikisha kwenye kwenye nyimbo zako unatumia ujumbe huo yeah kuna zingine ambazo zimenikuta ila kuna mengine ambao naimbia jamii you know yeah. ni vitu ambavyo tuna tunapitia yeah <laughs> manager yako di fight amekuja kunongoneza hapa ameniambia sasa hivi ukitongoza au ukitongozwa hamna kukataana yani Yaani sasa hivi ni rais sana mahusiano sasa hivi. Ni kweli unalikuta ila ulisha kukuta kwamba sasa hivi issue za mahusiano nimepesi sana sasa hivi. Unajua ni mwanaume kwa hiyo wanaume mna na view zenu na sisi wanawake tuna view zenu. Yeah, tuna view zetu so siwezi kujua kwa nikasema hivyo. Yeah, lakini mapenzi sasa hivi ah yameshakuwa si kama nini yani. Yaani eh yeah, umenielewa amenikubali tu wenzetu. Eh yeah, yani sasa hivi mambo yamesha rahisishwa sana au kidigitali zaidi. Aina kukataana kwa hiyo unapiga mistari aina kukataana. Hapana mimi sijasema hivyo. Nimesema tu kwamba naona siku hizi digitali imeingia kila mahali. Yaani vitu vimekuwa hizi tu yani. Yeah. <laughs> Salafina unatajwa kama ni mmoja wa sanii ambao mavazi yako baadhi ya mashabiki wamekuwa na jaji sana kwamba unaonyesha baadhi ya viungo vya mwili wako. Unajua comment ushakutana nayo. Si una lipi la kuwajibu mashabiki katika hili? sidhani kama nina la kuwajibu i'm just living my best life you know kitu ninachokifanya i'm not forced uh, kile ni mimi ndio jinsi nilivyo so take it or leave it baby aha uh -huh. i got steam sometimes utana comment kama hiyo labda watu wanajaji sana kuhusiana na mwili wako maungo yako kuliko kazi labda hapana sidhani kama wanajudge mwili wangu kuliko kazi sidhani kama imefikia to that extent kwa sababu mimi sana sana nawapaga kazi Ivo vitu vingine wanakutanaga navyo tu bahati mbaya ndio wanakuwa wanapata comments za kuongea lakini uh, that's 100% me na hainisumbui kwa sababu that's me you know that's me yani i'm living my life mimi ki, unajua kitu about uh, binadamu ni kwamba hauwezi kuwaridhisha task moja hata ukivaa dera watasema sarafina nao umeanza kuvaa vitu gani hivyo umeona sisi haya kesho utavaa kisketi kiko huko usanii kazi sarafina wanatuonesha sisi haya kesho utavaa suti suti nao umekuwa kama dume si ya jamani yani binadamu huwezi ukamridhisha hata siku moja so basically what you got to do just live your life unajua live your life as long as it makes you happy uh, you know I don't give a man. I don't give a what. Niambie tukio gani la kiburudani la entertainment limekufurahisha zaidi au lime kusurprise kwa mwaka huu 2022? Ah okay so kabla siingia hapo nilikuwa nasema kitu ambacho kinanikeraga ni wale fans ambao wanamaliza bando lao kwenda ku comment kwamba oh kigodoro kigodoro kigodoro. Kwa mara nyingine tena. Ndio. Mungu fundi. Mungu fundi kwa kweli naomba tukubaliane hilo swala. Mimi sijaikwenda Uturuki wala nini. I'm just 100% like this. So, 
yeah. Ah, tukio ambalo limeweza ku, kunistajabisha mwaka like entertainment. Ah, mimi nafikiri mwaka jamani umekuwa na matukio kibao. Yeah. Eh, I cannot be specific lakini mimi nafikiri industry imechangamka ukikija kwa Tanzania <laughs> industry imechangamka kila siku nakutana na matukio tu. Lakini uh, um, I cannot be very specific kwa sababu mwaka umekuwa busy sana eh. Uh, entertainment imekuwa na mambo mengi wozu na wozu na wema Bill Nasa na ndio ameoana Kajala Kaudiana na Harmonize wewe lipi ambalo limekucha yani nasema ya ili ni kubwa kuliko kwa ah sarafina kaja kama kimbunga mmm labda na ndio mm, limenistajabisha <laughs> mmm kama walivyo stajabisha wengi uh, unaamini star kidet na star mwenzie wanafikisha kazi zao kwa urahisi au wana deti kwa ajili ya kubustiana tu <laughs> kwa kweli kwenye industry watu wanafanya vitu vingi kwa sababu nyingi so uh, mimi kiniuliza kuhusu mambo ya kudate na hapo ah, kwa kweli utakuwa you asking the wrong person kwa sababu i'm not a very relationship based person so sinaga as a relationship sana yani mimi i'm so hyper focused na kazi sijui hata kwa nini niko hivi yani kwa kama machine so lakini naweza kusema kwamba katika show business um, for the right or wrong reasons inaweza kasaidia ku boost kazi kwa sababu watu wanapenda umbea wakija kwenye umbea wanakutana na nanili hapo hapo kazi yako hapo wanaendelea kuifuatilia so me i'm not totally against show business lakini uh, vile vile sipendi ku ku encourage kwamba show business iwe ndo maisha yako it shouldn't consume you you know you have to control it yani wewe ndo wape watu matukio na kazi zako hapo lakini isiwe na ku affect we moja kwa moja you know uh, it's a business uh, it's an asset ukitumia vizuri lakini it's a liability ukiacha iku affect wewe you understand so yeah msemo F3 wanake wanautumia sana sio ushautumia F3 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 una yani mtu anatakiwa utafsiri vipi msemo F3 mimi najiuliza sana sipati jibu F3 yani mtu anatakiwa ujue vipi maana F3 sema kweli sijajua hata msemo umetokea wapi lakini unachekesha sana yani sema kweli hata mimi marafiki zangu wengi around me walikuwa wanaitumia alafu kuna siku nikakutana na kitu ambacho ndo kilifanya nikaipa attention zaidi nikutana meme fulani ambayo ina mafiga yale matatu sio after tu yake mtu ame mzee bukubu kutatu ziko zimeloana <laughs> akaenda kaziweka kwenye yale mafiga matatu anazikausha after tu ndo deal i was like what sasa so, after tu imekuwa deal kiasi hiki so uh, i think it's good for you know inatuongezea maisha bana yani inakusaidia you know to laugh and vitu kama hivyo just uh, i think it's something that ambayo kimeleta to ku just to bring laughter to people i think that's it uh, kwa project za kuanzia mwaka labda 2023 au labda baada hii haya tutegemee EP au album mimi natamani sana niko kwenye EP album na nini usijali aliombi lako litafanywa kazi lakini basically i don't think we're going to do this mwaka huu i think uh, it's a major plan for mwakani so mwakani we're moving in a whole different direction kwa hiyo watu wangu ama fans wangu ama wewe unayentizama right now be prepared kwa sababu usipokuwa prepared you'll be caught by surprise and that won't be good for you yeah.